Women's Aid has blasted Love Island bosses for bringing former contestant Adam Collard back, after he was accused of gaslighting during his 2018 stint. The domestic abuse charity previously noted he displayed clear warning signs towards love interest Rosie Williams, such as questioning her memory of events, trivializing her thoughts or feelings, and turning things around to blame her. In a new statement, head of media relations and communications Teresa Parker has said, in the 2018 series of Love Island, we saw Rosie rightly call out Adam for his unacceptable behavior, which included gaslighting and emotional abuse. We hope that ITV recognize how serious this issue is and that it must be learned from, considering they have asked Adam to return to the show. Love Island is watched by many young people and we know what a huge influence it has. Producers must make sure there is support for contestants throughout, and intervene if relationships become unhealthy or abusive. ITV and Adam's representatives have been contacted for comment by Mail Online. It comes after Rosie made her feelings known about ex-boyfriend Adam's bombshell return to the villa. The reality star, 30 who was unceremoniously dumped by the personal trainer for Zara McDermott during the fourth series in 2018 let a throwback shot of her unimpressed face to the talking as she took to Instagram on Sunday night. The ex-contestant, 30, shared the picture of herself in the show following a heated confrontation with Adam with the caption tomorrow night. She also tagged Zara, 25, in a second post to her 702,000 followers, featuring a photo of the pair laughing together in bikinis during their time in the villa. Rosie cheekily captioned the snap, I'm just sorry we don't got popcorn. The former solicitor rose to fame on the 2018 series of Love Island, where she was coupled up with Adam, 26, before being very publicly dumped. Rosie was left heartbroken in the villa when Adam left her for Zara, however at the time she was branded a hypocrite by some as he had left Kendall Ray Knight for her. Adam infamously caused havoc in the villa during his last stint on the ITV2 dating show, where he was labeled by some as a gaslighter. His return marks the first time in Love Island history that a contestant from a past series has been brought back for another. Adam said of his comeback, I'm going to ruffle a few feathers when I go in. Shortly after her dumping from the island in 2018, Rosie was quick to hit out at Adam and his womanizing ways in a fierce appearance on this morning. Discussing her time on the show with Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield, Rosie claimed the personal trainer would ditch any partner at the sight of a new brunette, and slammed love rival Zara for being too boy-orientated. Rosie was firm in her view that Adam could not be trusted in the villa, having let her as well as his first partner Kendall believe he was interested in them. Still furious, the brunette explained, he actually said to me the night Zara came in, he said he was really annoyed that the boys in the villa thought that he was going to jump to Zara. He said why do people think that I would do that when I have feelings for you? And then 12 hours later he did it. Despite being ditched by the hunk, Rosie did then defend him against accusations of emotional abuse, with women's aid issuing a warning about his behavior at the time. She said, I would never want to label him emotionally abusive, I don't feel like I was a victim or anything. I don't want to be a victim, that's why I stood up for myself and that's why I said what I needed to say. I don't want women like me to feel victimized by it, just stick up for yourself and make sure you're the one in control. Elsewhere on Sunday, Adam's ex-girlfriend Zara and her boyfriend Sam Thompson shared their hilarious reactions at the bombshell's return. Sam, 29, has been posting his commentary on episodes all season of Love Island, and joked I've never seen her face light up like that for me as Zara, who found love with hunky Adam in 2018 grinned open-mouthed at the TV. Sam took to his stories to offer live thoughts on Sunday night's viewing with 1.5 million followers. When the teaser clip unveiling the personal trainer's show return came on, an excited Sam was thrilled for a villa newcomer before his face was even revealed. As the camera panned up his muscular physique, Sam shouted, abs and pecs, abs and pecs. Wow H.E.S. jacked. Who's this guy? Who's this absolute animal? It's your ex-boyfriend. No way. Sam then panned the camera over to a comically shocked Zara who screamed as she got up from the sofa. The stunner laughed as she exclaimed, no what, whoa. Zara and Adam met on Love Island in the summer of 2018 and moved in together in Essex soon after they were eliminated from the ITV2 show. But the relationship WASNT to last, with former government advisor Zara confirming their split after eight months together. A giddy Sam continued to share his thoughts, stating this is the best series ever, as Zara added, I think I'm gonna have to retire from this commentary now. Her boyfriend then continued his analysis as he pondered what Adam's play will be. I'm so intrigued about what's about to happen, he said, Sam went on, the question is right. H is like an alumni. The Lucas of this world, they're gonna suck up. Is that gonna happen? He questioned, how's he gonna play it? 
H has done it but brilliant from the producers. Brilliant. Zara echoed in the background, voicing her approval at the dramatic decision. Sam then joked, we're gonna watch your ex-boyfriend every night, watch his abs greasy and pectoral. He then appeared to suggest being in touch with Love Island's production team, adding, I genuinely think the producers have listened to my voice note that I sent and they've been like, let's do it, let's fly in Adam Collard. Sam finished his story with, I can't wait, they need to do this every season.